everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am going to do a full face of makeup of Essence and I've never tried Essence so this is exciting for me I and mean, I've seen Essence products all around and in particular there are a few products that people love and so I thought I would try to do a full face now Essence is not a brand that is easily accessible for me to find where I live so I ordered some of this stuff online and I've received everything, so yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck in and show you what I got. Put a full face of makeup on. This is not the Essence makeup. I am gonna wash this off and I am going to just do a full fresh face of it. I've got my products here. They came like this, which is the most hilarious thing ever. I ordered off of Wilco and because that's like the place I found the most Essence products for the cheapest price. There are a few other websites in the UK that I could have gone to, but they're a little bit more pricey and also their selection was a little bit more limited. I felt like Wilco had a little bit more products. So yeah, everything came in this bag within a box and I just thought that was kind of funny. So yeah, I am going to wipe this off my face and I'm gonna go straight in and yeah, if they're interesting and then just stay tuned. Hopefully I will do an interesting look and hopefully I like all the products. We'll see, it's my first time. All right, so I didn't get a primer from Essence because I have way too many primers at the moment. So I've just put on my Puff Puff from e.l.f. Just on sort of my temple areas and like my problem areas where I've got pores. Hopefully that won't affect how the Essence products work. I just really didn't want to buy another primer because I've recently received a lot of primers and I just didn't want to buy another one. First product I have is the Pretty Natural Foundation. It's the hydrating foundation and I got it in the shade Cool Beige 110. So straight off the bat, I'm a little bit worried about it. Any, any time that a foundation says beige, I usually stay clear of it because it's usually a little too warm tone for me but i will give it a go let's see how it works i've seen a few youtubers talk about this product um but not in, in any great detail like nobody's like gone on and on about it. it's not one of the you know top spoken about essence products that i've seen but i still wanted to try it out it looks interesting so i'm just going to put a little bit on my hand here Okay, it looks like it's a pretty decent shade match to be honest. It looks very liquidy. I actually kind of like liquidy foundations. Oh, actually it looks a little bit a little bit too warm tone. We'll have a we'll have a go. My hand seems to be more <laughs> more brown than uh, my face. So, we'll see. All right, I'm just going to go in with my sponge. So, this looks like a really good shade match for me actually. This is not that bad. I know I should put my hair up, I just don't want to. I know that sort of bothers a lot of people when you've got your hair down, you're doing your makeup. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, it bothers me too, but actually, I'm just not going to put my hair up today, so I'm sorry about that. Oh, you know what? I think this is a really, really good shade match. I like that, like I was saying, it's liquidy. Uh, I don't really like really thick foundation. This definitely seems to be light coverage which is what I normally prefer. I'm so pleased with the color. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. I, I feel like I need to put just a little bit more on around sort of forehead area and also just down here just to sort of get a little bit more build up. But yeah, I'm really happy with this color. I'm so happy I went with cool beige. I think I've just got a cooler undertone. I think that's what I'm trying to realize and understand for myself. I, I've i never really known, but I've always known that warm tone foundations tend to be very orange on me and they just don't look good. So, and I prefer cool tone bronzers and everything like that. So yeah, I think I'm a cool tone lady, but couldn't tell you if it's really the case. All right, so I've just had a look. This looks really good. I'm really pleased with this coverage so far. It does look like it's, yeah, I, I like it. It looks, it feels like I need a little bit more over here, but I don't wanna pump any more out. I think, I think for like first impressions, that worked really well. I'm really, really happy I picked the right shade. I just feel like I have a good knack at that. Normally, when I'm in front of the product, I do really badly <laughs> with the shade, 
but when I can read it online, it just seems like, yeah, see, it's a, I don't know, it's, it does look a little beige, if you look at my neck, my face, I don't know if on camera, it looks a little funky, but it's not that bad. Alright, so I did pick up a long-lasting concealer. This is the Stay All 16 Hour Concealer, and it's waterproof, which is good. I have put my fan on, so if you can hear that, I do apologize, but there's no way I can do this without my fan. It's just too humid. It's not even a nice day today, it's just still very humid. So I'm just going to put this... I generally, I don't use a lot of concealer for spot corrections, I just put them under my eyes and sort of around here to brighten up the face. I don't really use it for anything else. Um, this does seem to be sort of the right consistency of what I normally like in a concealer. I'm not sure about the applicator though, it's a little bit thin for my liking, but let's have a look because so far this color looks good too and this i got in is there a color in this one this one i got in soft beige so <laughs> i don't know why i kept picking beige but maybe that was just my only choice with concealer i try to get the lighter shade normally or the one that is just after the light shade because I do like a brightening concealer and I feel like when I pick anything that's a little bit darker it just doesn't give me the effect that I want but this this looks pretty nice honestly like as far as concealer wise I'm never all that impressed with concealers so this one doesn't look that bad I actually kind of think it looks pretty good so I don't generally like face powders or anything like that or setting powders but I had to get the Brighten Up Banana Powder because Steph Lyons absolutely loves this and I love her and I wanted to see what it's all about. So she uses it under her eyes to brighten up her looks. And I've seen loads of other people rave about this product as well. So I'm going to go in and see if it does anything, if I enjoy it or anything like that. So I'm just going to like tap on, go under the eyes a little bit and sort of just see... I do feel like that's brightened it. I don't know. I'd have to check on the camera. I, I don't really know what it... I don't know. It does... It does look... It looks okay. It doesn't look cakey. I, I think the thing that I find with face powders, it always looks really, really cakey when I use them, and I don't really generally like that. I like it when your face looks really glowy. But this doesn't look that bad. I do look awfully pale, though, so I need to add in some bronzer. But I think... First impressions, it's pretty good. It's a really nice quality. It's really, really thin as well. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I'm gonna use it for sure. It's. I, I feel like it brightened the look a little bit. I don't know, you tell me. Okay, so as far as bronzers, I actually got two bronzers. I got the Sun Club Natural Glow Bronzing Powder, and I also got the Hello Good Stuff Matte and Glow Bronzer. So, <laughs> This one is sort of like a duo. You've got the light, shimmery side, and then the matte side here. And then this one is just a full-on bronzy glow, which I really liked the idea of. And I like the fact that these aren't too deep, because I do have a few bronzers that are just too deep at the moment. So I'm wondering... I feel like this will be good in the winter, actually, just to give you that glow. So I'm going to go in with this one first, with the matte, and see if, if there's any difference. And um, and then I might go in with the other one just to top it up. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go all in. I don't really know how else you do this. Okay, straight off the bat, there's so much fallout, but whatever, that's fine. Okay, alright. Maybe I should uh, get a mirror for this, because this is a lot more... Whoa, okay, it's a lot more bronzy than I was expecting. I didn't think it was going to be this deep, but... This doesn't look bad. It looks a little bit patchy. It is giving me a little bit of a glow though, which I really like. I like bronzy glows. I'm just going to go in with the other side and go in quite a lot on the other side because I went in so much on this side. Alright, so that has given me a full-on like bronzy face look. <laughs> 
I wonder if the other one would have been a little bit less pigmented. I didn't expect this one to be as pigmented, but it is a nice color. I just don't know if I put it on properly. It looks a little bit patchy. I am going to go in with this one, the All Natural Glow, and I'm just going to go over the cheeks a little bit with that. I am going to use the same brush, I think. Yeah, let me use the same brush. Just go in and see. So this one definitely seems more like a topper and it is giving me a little bit of a nice glow. Which is good because I actually didn't get a highlighter from Essence. This is one of the other things. I didn't get a primer or a highlighter. I've just got, I feel, too many highlighters and I didn't want to add another one to my collection that I didn't think I was going to get through. So I didn't get a highlighter. I did get a blush though. And the blush is more of a blush lighter, so it has a slight highlighter in there. It is, yeah, the Blush Lighter Gradient Powder Blush. It is in Cassis Sunburst, which is a really nice name, and it looks really pretty. So I'm going to go in with my cheeks on this and see what this looks like. Um, again, I'm just going to go all around. I'm not going to pick one side or the other, and let's see how pigmented this is. Honestly, not very pigmented. Maybe I'll go in with the darker side and see if I can build any of that up. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting, to be honest. It's adding a nice little glow. I've definitely got color to my face. Holy smokes. I am looking a lot more brown now. <laughs> um, no, that's pretty, actually. You can kind of see it. It's just a really, really light touch. I'm going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose because I quite like how that looks sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I really like the compact. I like how just, you know, plain and simple the packaging is so far. Super impressed with the packaging. All right, eyeshadow palettes. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Essence aren't really known for their eyeshadow or their eyeshadow palettes. And I really liked some of their um, their feeling palettes, but they were all sold out at Wilco, so I didn't get any of those. And I saw this one, which is Out in the Wild, and they had a pink version too, but this one seemed a little bit more interesting to me. So this is what it looks like. It actually is quite pretty. I just didn't think the pans would be so small. They don't look as small actually on camera than they do in real life. But I just ex was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. So I, oh my god, I just looks really, really brown. I just, I don't know what this looks like. I don't know who I think I am, but suddenly I, I have a tan. I, I, I think I went a little bit too much with that bronzer. But anyway, this eyeshadow palette I just thought was kind of cute. It's really small. It has a mirror. It's just a nice little cute palette. So I didn't want to buy anything that I just wasn't going to be interested in using later on. You know, I didn't want to buy anything just for this video. Everything I bought, I really actually wanted to try. And this one, I also wanted to try out of the options that I had, which to be honest, there weren't that many options. But yeah, I, w I, th I think I'm just going to do like a nice sort of uh, green look. I, I, I think these shimmers look nice, but I haven't swatched it. I'm not sure how it's going to be. So let's just get in. All right, I'm going to go in with this shade over here, just in my crease. So there's definitely fallout on there, but I quite like that little tone of colour. It's quite nice. I'm going to go in with this shade next, just to deepen it up a little bit. There's definitely a lot of fallout. It's kind of a messy formula, and also the palette itself got really, really messy. I don't know if you can see um, all of the fallout around there. It's looking a little patchy, but I, you know, I think that's probably just me. Next, I'm going to go in with the shimmer over here. This looks really lovely. I'm just going to put that on the lid and just see what it looks like. That looks really lovely. So that's, that's actually pretty nice. It's not the worst shimmer formula I've ever used, but it's also not the best. It's pretty soft too, so I've already made quite a dent in there just putting it on. Um, it's it's quite creamy. It's not that bad. It's it's a nice color too. I kind of like it. I think I want to add a little bit more because it's looking, I don't know, all the samey. So I'm going to put a little bit of this one on the outer corner just to see if I can add a little bit more of a dimension like that. Oh, wow. That one, it looks so different. Okay, so let's see. 
Oh, that's pretty. I like this one. I don't know if you can really see on camera, but this one is actually a really nice, really nice color. I really like this tone. I am using natural light and I feel like it's washing out all the color because it looks a lot more pigmented, like in person. Uh, but it looks really, really nice. I really, really like it. So I'm kind of impressed by this little tiny palette. I think it's so nice. I'm going to uh, just put a little bit of sort of like a highlight shade in this in the center there. I'm going to put this shade just in my inner corner. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm so impressed by this. I was not, I had like no expectations of this palette. I really had very low expectations of it. And you know, it's not the best palette, obviously. And the shades are very, very, very flaky, but it's very pretty. I, I think it's such a pretty looking palette. I like this. Um, what I'm going to do, because I feel like it needs it, I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit with this green shade here. I think I kind of need a little bit of depth. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in. I don't want to deepen up too much because I do like the look of this. But I just want to put a little bit in the corner here. And I think I'm going to put this under my eye as well. Just on the outer V. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to do that. So I will say there is quite a lot of fallout with this palette. So it's probably better to do your eye makeup before you do your face makeup because otherwise you do run the risk of it going everywhere, which is what I've done. But I'm really, really pleased with that. So finish up the lids. I'm going to go in with this mascara. This is the Lash Princess false lash effect mascara i've seen so many people talk about this some people hate this one and they like the blue one better and then loads of people love this one so i'm not sure if i should have gotten with the blue one but i went with this one instead because it just is so freaking cute and yeah i'm gonna see what this looks like i'm i've realized i'm quite picky with mascara but at the end of the day i will use whatever mascara is open it doesn't have a wand that i typically like although it's not really round which is something that I don't like so that's a good thing so maybe I'll like this let's see if I'm making any sense that's pretty I like this this is pretty good do I think it's the best one I've ever tried I couldn't tell you that yet because I need a little bit of time it does seem a little dry and it's a new product so I just wonder how long it's gonna last for but I do sort of like this wand I feel like it's getting where it needs to get to I always have issues doing this eye this this my lashes on this eye always give me issues and I always make a mess with this particular eye it also could be because I'm right-handed and I'm just you know I'm doing the wrong eye but yeah I think this is pretty. It looks nice. I like it. It's opened my eyes. It hasn't clumped up together. I just wonder if it's going to get really dry really fast, but first impressions, this is nice. I like it. This is good. Okay, so I did get three different lip glosses and I got a lip liner. Now, I wasn't going to get a lip liner because I hardly use them, but I don't have a lip liner this color, which is this lovely sort of reddish orangey tone. And I have a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks this color that I really like. So I figured, well, I should get a lip liner that sort of matches. So that's the reason why I got that. It's the soft and precise lip pencil. And I got also the Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. Uh, is, does this have like a shade name or anything? I'm not sure. It's just the pink one. It looks pretty clear. Let's see. Summer Punch. It's called Summer Punch. And then I got these Juicy Bombs. I just thought they were super, super cute. So this one is a peach flavor. It is called Sweet Peach. And then this one is Crazy Cherry. So I think I'm just going to go in with the Crazy Cherry because I've got the lip liner. It kind of makes sense for me. So I'm going to do that next. And we will see. I'm not very good at the lip liner stuff. So let me just go in and see what this is like. I'm wondering if I should do my whole lips or just leave it as that. I, I don't really know what to do. This is this is not like the, the creamiest 
lip pencil I have to say so it's a little bit hard to fill in I like the color I'm just not sure of the actual product itself so that's what I'm gonna do with the lip liner and let me just go in with this juicy balm and see if this is pigmented enough to sort of cover up those caps okay so it's a lot more of a clear gloss and it does sort of look like my lipstick is coming apart because I didn't do my whole uh, liner but I tell you what it tastes absolutely amazing and the gloss side of it is really really nice I'm just not sure of the liner I don't really like the liner so that might be the only product that I've tried so far today that I haven't been super impressed with because everything else I kind of like and also the reason why I'm so impressed by these products is because essence is so affordable a lot of these products were only three pounds or the lip glosses I think were only a pound like this was a pound which you know I kind of wouldn't really want to spend more than a pound on that product um, and I think everything combined was less than 40 pounds which is amazing because obviously when you do a full face of makeup you know you can get an eyeshadow palette that is literally 40 pounds and then you have to buy the foundation which is like 20 pounds and you know it just adds up so I I'm really happy with everything I got actually I'm I'm so impressed by this eyeshadow palette when I saw it when it came in I thought oh I am not impressed by this at all but actually just swatching them and putting them on the lids it's not super super pigmented so if you like really really deep tones or anything like that it's you, this is not the palette for you but it's kind of like an everyday palette. You could use this for work and it's very, very beautiful. And this is such a beautiful shade. I could actually use that as a highlighter. Let me just try and put that as a highlighter on my nose and see what it looks like. Yeah, see, look at that. Like, this is like a highlighter, highlighter color. It is so pretty. It's a little bit too, like, white for what I'm wearing. It's got more of a, a, a white sheen, but look, that's quite pretty. That is not that bad. And if I just put it up here as well, I don't know. I think this is a really, really nice, really nice palette. I'm really, really impressed. I'm actually really happy that I purchased this one and not the pinky tone one. If I remember to put it up, I'll, I'll put it up. But I just, when I saw it, I was a little bit hesitant because I thought, oh no, more greens. I have so many greens in my eyeshadow palette collection but it's just so neutral that the greens really work well with it and like I said I think it's an everyday palette I think it works really well I like the mascara the mascara is pretty decent I, I just don't know if I'm wowed by it yet but it's pretty nice the um the bronzers so this is a lot more pigmented than I was expecting you know when you look at it like that it doesn't look I guess it looks a little bit pigmented but I wasn't expecting it to be as pigmented as it was the glow bronzer I think is going to be really nice. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like without the other bronzer because this is probably something that I'm going to be wearing in the winter because I do like a glow bronzer and I've been trying to find something to replace my beautiful MAC one that I refuse to throw away even though I finished it. I just, I can't get rid of it until I find a good replacement, which I don't think this is like a full on replacement of it, but it might like fill that gap for me, which I'm excited about. So we'll see. The banana powder, I'm not really sure if I needed it, but I got it because, you know, of Steph Lyons, honestly, let's be real. I, I just I just felt like I had to get it because of her. And the foundation, I think, is a really good match for me, and it just feels pretty good. It doesn't feel too thick. It also doesn't uh, feel too thin, so that's not covering. So I actually think it's, like, the perfect coverage for what I prefer. It's sort of a medium to light coverage. I wouldn't say it's medium to like full coverage definitely more on the lighter side because I went in a couple times but still pretty good and the gloss I think is really nice it's just a lip liner that I wasn't all that impressed with and the concealer I think is fine I'm not a huge I'm not really that picky about concealers to be honest but yeah I am yeah I guess my hero products would be the eyeshadow palette I just I just find this inner corner shade stunning I am so impressed by that and I like the pop of red with the look. I just think it looks good. And I like the bronzers. So, yeah. Um, only thing I didn't really talk about is the blush. I, it's it's kind of hard to know how the blush performed because I don't think it really works well with these two combined. So, again, it might be a blush that I just use in the winter because it is a little bit too soft and not super pigmented. But you can see there's like a full-on gradient there. 
Um, so, you know, if I just tried to get that side, maybe I'd see a little bit more. But I have been very heavy handed with my blush recently. So this one does feel a little bit less pigmented than what I'm used to. But it's still, it's okay. Yeah, this is my full face of Essence makeup. I am really, really impressed. And I'm really happy that I purchased all these items. If you've tried Essence, let me know. If there's any items from Essence that I haven't tried or spoken about on the today's video and I need to try let me know but again it's really hard for me to find essence products near where I live so it's not the most accessible like drugstore brand and also essence Europe doesn't really ship to the UK so I have to get essence from all these UK retailers and like I said they don't all have all the products and I don't know I knew Wilco so I just thought okay I'll buy from there I know essence is on feel unique as well but again they didn't have too much variety there and I wanted to do the full face I wanted to get like a full experience of it and also you know it's affordable so it's one of these brands that you could do a full face of so yeah thank you so much for watching this was really fun I enjoyed this video um like and subscribe if you'd like to I hope you'd like to come back and yeah hopefully you're fine you're enjoying your summer and I will see you next time bye